My goodness, she fell asleep. Miss Ava May is going to the dentist today. She's going to be such a brave girl. Uh, well, last time I was. Yep, and, and Miss Hazy Girl is here to the, help her, right? The play with me. Are you going to hold her hand if she gets nervous, Hazy? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Mom, it was Aladdin. <laughs> yes. Does she look so funny up there? <laughs> What you doing down there? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Are you high on? on she doesn't gas? even have laughing gas yet, does she? Yeah. You're at the dinner. Did you? Did you? <laughs> what you doing down there? You got some laughing gas on you. Oh shoot! Did it just fall out of her mouth? <laughs> Oh, now you gotta go tell her. You're in trouble. Jet, did they kick you out? Uh, no, they did ask me to stop touching things, though. <gasps> Easy! Hi, bud. Missed. Missed it. Did you ask when I got here? Yeah. I got here a little while ago. What show are you watching? I like the lamb. You gonna give her a kiss, Hazy? Nah. <laughs> you look like you are a fighter jet pilot. Yeah, this is Ava Bingham. Yeah, uh, permission to do a flyover. Uh, permission granted. This is base. <laughs> My goodness, she fell asleep. Uh, really? Yeah, pretty little, little. If they're really good kids, yeah, a lot of times they're just Who like, falls oh, asleep oh, during their asleep. dental work? <laughs> oh and then all of a sudden you hear them. Yeah, you'll get snoring as well. That's so, so we just cute. Have all the yeah. Ava? How was it? Huh? Honestly, didn't know it was possible to fall asleep getting too. Ava, hey. And more often than that, it happens with both. Ava. Yeah. Ava. It's good. So we take it as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Twist. Straight it that way. Good job. Are you going to get a price for you and Ava? Keep going. Keep going. Twist. More. Boom. Ooh, good one. I make this at school. Oh, let and me see. Uh, and me. Oh my goodness, you're so smart. And what's this? An x-ray. Oh, an x-ray? Is that your arm and your hand? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, good job. Did you trace it? No. Who did it? So I put in my arm here and my teacher did it. Okay guys, so my mom just had me come downstairs with Ava and she wanted us to get Annabelle some exercise because outside it is dark and very cold and windy. So we're gonna try to get some Annabelle's exercise out because she's been inside all day. Annabelle, sit. Go get the ball, go kitty. Get the ball. Go get the yoga ball. <laughs> Things you. Go get the ball. Go get it, go get it. Okay guys, so now you can see Annabelle is tired. So I think we can call it a win. We got Annabelle very tired. Okay guys, so now my mom gave me the job to make oranges for tomorrow. So now we are going to get the oranges for our lunch. We have way too many oranges, as you can see. <laughs> so we'll grab the whole box. And my mom makes us eat these, and I thought they'd be really nasty, but they are actually very good. They're really good. Okay, so three of those. Kids break.
bubbles. Well, Doctor didn't really rip it up, said Marcia. She still her liver. Okay, you guys, it has been a later night for Mr. Ashy and I because we are doing, I think this is your very first book report. Yes, he is a big third grader. This is his very first book report. And we had a really, really busy night. And so trying to squeeze in doing this book report was a little bit tricky. So we finished his book tonight. He read the book called Good Grief Third Grade, which is kind of fun because he is in third grade. And Ashy, tell them what the book's about. So the book's about a third grader named Marsha and one named Roger. Roger's the bully. Marsha doesn't like Roger because Roger, all he does is bully Marsha. Yeah, they torture each other and then they became friends at the end of the book. Yeah, there were some good lessons we learned in that book, but it was kind of funny because <laughs> when he was writing his book report and you have to write what your favorite part of the book was, tell him what your favorite part was. My favorite part was Roger getting Marsha in trouble. <laughs> and it just made me laugh. I thought, well, at least... At least he's honest. So we wrote in there, it's not nice to be mean to people, but it kind of made it him giggle funny. a little bit. All of this different stuff for his book report. He had to do the plot and the summary and the title and the author and his favorite part. And then he wrote a book report where he had to write a letter to somebody recommending the book and why he'd recommend it to. So who'd you write it to? Crew. And did you recommend this book? Yes. Yes, yeah, so he told Crew all about why he recommended this book but we read all the way to pick up Landon from Now I Can and all the way home. And before and after soccer practice, it's been a busy long night and I'm so glad it's over with. High five, we did it. Can turn that it was tomorrow. such a good book though. Yeah, it was awesome. I was, wish it had more. More books to come. He has lots of book reports this year. We are gonna call it a night, at least for Mr. Ashy, huh? All right, say good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Okay, you guys, I feel like I've been kind of MIA with the vlogging today. <laughs> I have to tell you that when Landon is in his therapy, it is kind of like next level busy for me. I feel like I'm already a mom that is stretched a little bit thin. I mean, hashtag mom life, everybody feels this way, right? Where we just kind of feel pulled in a million different directions. But then you put me in a week, and now I can three weeks, and it's like next level but. stressful for me because you just add in a lot of time in my day. It's like two hours of driving, because it's a you know a half hour there and back twice, plus checking him out of school, at least three hours of my day just to do that. And then on top of that, if I wanna stay and support him and be able to cheer him on, which I know he loves for me to be able to do, I'm not able to do it super often because right in the middle of his therapy, I have to pick up my other kids from school, but I'm actually planning on doing that tomorrow, and I'm really excited. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's such a happy thing for me to be able to watch him when I'm there, and I know that it makes him feel special to be able to show off what he's doing. In fact, family members here and there will kind of go and they'll ask to pick him up or they'll ask to go watch him do his therapy and it just makes his day. I mean, it's just, I, th I think he just feels like a million bucks. Speaking of Landon, he also has a book report due tomorrow and we were up a little bit late last night because it was Justin's birthday and we had the football games and so, you know, all of our kids kind of went in today a little bit tired when we were trying to work on his book report. He was just having a really hard time. He was really tired. He was having a hard time understanding what I was reading to him and it didn't take me very long to realize that he's just tired he was kind of upset and I just said Landon what you're doing is hard going to school and then going to four hours of therapy is hard and we went into today tired and it's okay it's okay that you're tired and it's okay that you aren't filling up to doing this right now like that's totally okay I'm gonna email your teacher and I'm gonna tell her that these are long days for you and ask her if she'd be willing to give you a few extra days to get this turned in and if she doesn't then that's okay that's just life you know we're just you're doing your best and that's all that matters and sometimes it's tough during these weeks because we just can't do it all he can't do it all but I feel like we're doing good things anyway I started off my day today with a, a massage I don't get massages very often oh my goodness they are just amazing the worst part of a massage is when it's over but I got to sneak one in this morning I really didn't have time for it but I was really grateful I did it I really needed it I needed that that moment of relaxation to just take some time for myself I think that's really important especially as busy moms um, and it kind of made me laugh. She told me that where all the stress was in my shoulders and my back represents feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. <laughs> and I thought, uh, well, hashtag mom life. Miss Ava was so brave at the dentist today. I honestly was thinking to myself, she has to be the world's easiest dental patient. So who showed up today? 
when you were getting your, your yeah. dental work, then who else surprised you? Dad. Dad. Oh my goodness, I was dying because she was giggling, like uncontrollably giggling, and it was the cutest thing. She just doesn't even make a peep when they're doing the dental work. They said to me, you know, she is unusually good. For her age, I mean, she's just amazing. She's I been was sleeping. <laughs> we look over at the very end, and she's sleeping, and I just thought, who falls asleep while they're getting dental work done, but it's so her. Ava has earned a treat because she was so brave and I'm so proud of her. But, but we, we didn't, didn't get Roxbury. We didn't get Roxbury because she fell asleep again when we were going to pick up Landon and then we ran out of no. time. We did, you just don't remember it. No. So we are going to get her a treat tomorrow. 100%, right? So come back tomorrow. We are going to show you the inside scoop on a day of Landon's therapy. And you are not going to want to miss it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys Bye. have a good night.